Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Well, the market ended up wrapping up rather nicely on the week, settling down for a long winter's weekend because, don't forget, the market is closed on December 26th in observance of Christmas. So we have a short week next week, and that's one of the reasons why we see implied volatility down a little bit across the board. If you look at the VIX right here uh, where my mouse is, it's down 1.16, which seems like it would be kind of a lot, but let's not forget the market is pricing in one extra day of theta which makes the theoretical values just a little bit lower. And when the models in Thinkorswim or whatever platform you're using evaluate that to determine the implied volatility, it makes the implied volatility look a little lower than it actually is. Now, all that said, implied volatility is pretty stable. It was uh, overall slightly up market. Um, I'm recording this a little bit before the close here on Friday. Uh, the only thing, uh, the only index I see uh, down, well, XLV and XLK. XLK is basically flat on the day. So, you know, it was just like sort of a nice, uh, friendly little market, um, be, mainly because the Fed's key inflation gauge, PCE, came out this morning and it was right exactly on target. And so, you know, no news is, well, kind of good news, you know, good enough news, um, enough to boost the market to just shy of half a percent at the time I'm recording this, enough to have uh, the VIX, you know, counting the extra day of theta coming out, I would call it down just a smidge, and, you know, no real big major news um, at this point. So that said, hey, Market Taker family, I just want to wish you a happy holiday, a Merry Christmas, and we will see you next week. Enjoy your time off. This is Dan Passarelli. Trade smart. Yeah.